Hi everyone, Stoner MacGyver here, and it's time for a, I guess like a row tent update. It's more so like my uh, aquaponics system. Um, so first we'll start with the top section here. Um, it pumps from my sump tank. I'll cover that lastly, but it goes up to my first grow bed. And this is basically going to be a uh, herb grow bed. Uh, it currently has some lettuce in it, but you know, it's growing pretty happily right here So I'm just gonna keep that there um, There's lots of mint. I'm not quite sure on what kind of strain of mint. This is I just know it's a mint that I bought from the grocery store and I planted in here about a year ago and it's just kept going so Just keeping it in here um, And everybody seems to really love this mint. Uh, the mint grows uh, super well in the system um, it's probably the best growing thing I have in here um, I have some basil in here um, this basil is also what I bought from a grocery store and I planted in here um, it grows okay um, it's not the fastest growing but it definitely grows pretty big and full leaves you know enough to make you know a decent amount of food with um i have some rows growing here i do want to make some uh make something with some rose petals or maybe just some roses in general um and that's about what i have i put some dill seed in here it is some um, let's see if i can wrap this here Long Island Mammoth Dill. Um, I've never really gotten it to go in the system quite yet, but this top row bed has been here for quite a while, so it's pretty well uh, intact with all the uh, necess ne necessary bacteria. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the second row bed. Uh, it has some cat grass in here. It's not catnip, but cat grass. Um, I plan on selling it to the local grocery store just because um, I don't know. I feel like it could be profitable in some case. Um, I got some mint growing back there just because I like the mint. And I got my mother basil plant. This thing's been around for about a year um, I have a giant sequoia in here it's not really growing too fast because I just put this grow bed in um, about a week or so ago so it's not the bacteria hasn't quite built up enough and the nitrites and nitrites and you know all the necessary uh, nutrients hasn't quite built up so um, I have a dragon fruit in the back with some cloves growing in there. Um, it's grown pretty tall. Um, I cut it recently and it's grown a foot off that. So I'm going to cut it again see what happens. See if I can get it to fruit. This is a jackfruit plant. If you've ever heard of jackfruit, it's about a 13 to 15 pound uh, fruit. It's got spikes on it and they're pretty sharp. And it's got quite a bit of like protein in it. It's really big in the vegan community. Uh, they make stuff like pulled pork sandwiches out of it. It's actually pretty tasty. Um, it's actually the original flavor of juicy fruit. Um, so I'm growing a tree from a seed that I got out of a jackfruit. Um, yeah, I kind of finagled a guy for the jackfruit and got it. And, you know, got a baby. And then, last but not least, we'll go down to the uh, sump tank. Hold on a sec. Sump tank. And it's got, I'd open this up, but it's, uh, that's going to take a second. But uh, I got some mint and some basil growing in here. Uh, the reason why I have these in here is because... The one I can quickly switch them out. As you can see like that. It's a pretty nice system like that. 
see the roots coming off that. This is basically a deep water culture bucket. It's basically what this is simulating. Um, this is basically a small scale experiment. That's what this whole thing is. And just to prove to myself or prove, you know, in general that I can make the system work and I know how to grow with it so I can build it in the summer on a bigger scale. So, um, pull out the basil. Let's see how big the roots on that are. Pretty healthy roots. Um, I currently have, I think, four goldfish in there. I had seven. Uh, they're actually feeder fish. Uh, feeder fish are really nice because they're, um, they're a lot stronger, I guess, against, um, uh, the the water temperature change um, they get pretty big um, I don't know what else much to say about them they change colors that's kind of cool they change from orange to black <laughs> so yeah that's the bottom one um, I'll go over the lights now I guess just going over the whole system uh, these are just some simple LED lights. Uh, a lot of people have told me you can't grow with LED lights. With just some simple LED lights, you can grow with LED lights. Because look, I am. <laughs> so you can just buy these from a grocery store. I went to Walmart, bought a four-pack for $20. And that's literally the whole light that I run it off of. 24 hours grows this. There's no light cycle. I had it on a light cycle, but too many things started flowering. So I just pulled out the timer and went with the uh, 24-hour. Um, and here I still I have the same deal going on. I got one right there, another one. These are just uh, 1,500 lumen. Or, yeah. And then down here I just have a, a fluorescent tube light. This is actually like a work light off of a, a workbench that I had and all the stuff is just kind of finagled together um yeah there's an air stone in there give you a little peek of there without dropping my phone in there you can see some fish all right that's that's about it um if you have any uh, questions uh, just throw them in the comments down below if you like it you know give me a thumbs up if you don't like it give me a thumbs down it's good to know um i don't know if you'd like to see me grow something certain in my grow beds uh let me know oh definitely grab some seeds and throw it in there try to find some seeds um i definitely want to try to grow some purple potatoes some the alaskan Sweet potatoes, that's what they are. Grow some of those. All right. Peace.